Hi everyone and welcome to another video by Sim Kenny. So today's build is actually quite a special one because A, I've been wanting to do more modern houses for quite some time um, because that is probably my most favourite style of building in The Sims um, and I feel like I've done a lot of blue suburbans recently. <laughs> I went on a little blue suburban craze for a while. Um, and the second reason why it's so special is that it's actually a build challenge by one of my favorite Sims YouTubers, um, Little Simsy. Um, and she put this up the other day and basically she has built a shell of a house um, and you're allowed to kind of decorate it, add interior walls, um, add like fencing in, add foundations in and so on. However, you're not allowed to change any of the exterior walls and you're not allowed to change any of the interior walls that are already there. So originally this lot was built on a 20 by 30 lot. I can't remember which world it was in, um, but a different world. I did keep it on the 20 by 30 lot, mainly because first off, I wasn't actually sure if we could put it on a bigger lot. Plus, I feel like it's kind of worked in this space anyway, um, mainly for me because I hate landscaping. So I didn't have to do that much of it. But yeah, so I put this um, little beach house in the world of Windenburg, I think. I could be wrong. Um, the world that has an island in it. <laughs> um, that one. Just because I really like the sort of like sea views in it. And the idea behind this was to be like a beach house. Um, so I feel like it's fit on really well on that island. Plus there is a lot of modern builds on the island already anyway. So I feel like that's worked really well. Um, so a little bit about the house. Um, it is a three bedroom house. Um, it's got a dining room, a kitchen, a living room, office space um, and a lovely little deck on the back. Um, so it has two double bedrooms um, and one single bedroom. Um, and one of those double bedrooms is quite a large master bedroom as well. The downstairs of this house is completely open plan which I really like and I feel like that does really suit modern houses to have things open plan. So I kind of went with that. Um, so as you can see here, we've just kind of built this little kitchen nook at the back, which is kind of an idea that I got from the Bailey Moon house um, in Get Famous. They kind of had a little kitchen at the back and I've never really done a kitchen like this before, but I feel like it's worked really well in this build. Um, so I've just done the little bar area and we are going to be moving on to the living room in a minute. Most of the colour scheme of this house is actually very, very white. But I feel like for a modern beach house, that does work quite well. Um, I used that sofa from Get Famous. Um, I really wish I had a matching love seat, but unfortunately it doesn't. I did try and match the other love seat that we got with the pack with this, but it just didn't really work that well. So I've just gone for four armchairs there there is no cc in this build which was part of the rules um and i feel like recently i've actually been getting very good at not using custom content like i do like it once in a while but i feel like i've really gotten to like know the gallery a lot better since i started to challenge myself to not use cc i mean i'll still always use it for like some builds i don't think i could ever go completely not cc just because i really like some of the variety that some of the great builders do and it is mostly peacemaker that i use anyway so it's not like a big range of them um so yeah we've just finished with the living room and we're onto the dining room and the amount of love that i have for those chairs that came with get famous Oh my god, I literally want to put them in like every single build that I do. I think they're so nice. As well as these doors, I feel like Get Famous was just a really, really good pack, um, especially for doing modern builds. Um, so I really, really love it. Um, I do try and put this little closed off office downstairs. However, I do end up moving it later on just because I didn't really like how cramped it was. Um, so I, I do try and make it work a little bit and then I realise I can fit any bookshelves in or anything like that. So I do go and put some bookshelves behind the stairs. I was like, try and like fit a bookshelf in this house, um, which I do end up keeping. I think that looks really, really cool. But yeah, I do end up moving the office later on. So you can see here, I've kind of tried to do a big like open, um, well, it's not an open floor plan, but one of those like, see down to the below stair things down here 
<laughs> but it just didn't really work. Um, the rooms are going to be way too small if I did that. So I decided to just kind of scrap that idea. Um, and that's where I actually ended up putting the office um, in that in the front of the house there. But I really like um, the floor plan of this house, actually. I feel like it's not too cramped. I know the hallway is a little bit small up at the top, but I did end up putting some skylights in it. So it does look quite bright and there is a lot of whiteness in this house. So it doesn't feel too bad. Um, in a second here, we're going to move on to decorating the master bedroom. Um, oh, no, no, not yet. <laughs> right now, I'm still trying to move the office. <laughs> Um, still trying to figure out if that's going to work um, or not. So I do end up putting a little seating area in here first, but eventually, eventually is going to become an office. So bear with it being a seating area. And I did actually quite like that being a seating area, but I just hated the way that that office was just cramped at the bottom there. It wasn't going to work for me, especially for a house this big. I feel like it needs a slightly better office. So on to the master bedroom now. I just love those four poster beds and I'm so glad that it comes in like a normal colour swatch, um, which doesn't happen that much. Um, so yeah, white, light wood tones is kind of like the theming that's been going on in this bedroom. There's a little bit of pink in the teenager's room, but it is mostly white and light colours. Um, all of the bedrooms do have balconies in this build. Um, so there's quite a large balcony on the master bedroom, quite a large but awkward balcony in the guest bedroom and then the teenage girl's bedroom does have a little balcony where I actually just ended up putting a yoga mat there because I could imagine her being into yoga if her parents are in a beach house because why not uh just assuming things <laughs> but yeah um so I feel like the family that I was kind of thinking for this build would kind of be this um almost retired couple where they could have been in like show business when they were younger they have a teenage daughter and now they just want to kind of like move somewhere it's quiet on a little island where no one's going to bother them or anything like that um and I feel like this really gives off um the vibe of that I really like um the way it's been furnished and the way it's been decorated and built um, and so on. This is actually probably one of my favorite builds. Um, I don't know if that's because I've just not built modern in a while. And every time I do, I'm like, oh, yes, th this, this is me. Um, but yeah, who knows? Um, yeah, I really, I really did enjoy it. Um, just decorating the spare bedroom right now. I did want to squeeze a little wardrobe in here, but because that window is so large, it was quite hard. Um, but I think, that little one does work quite well. So at this point, I was actually thinking of making a kid's room, um, but I felt like not enough kids' things really fitted into a tiny room. So I do try and like move things around for a bit, but I do go back to the original orientation. And at this point, I'm like, does it really look like a kid's room? So it's going to be a teenager's room. <laughs> um, so I've given her a little guitar because I can imagine her being slightly into music. If her parents were in the showbiz industry, she likes a lot of pink. Um, there's that yoga mat as well. So she likes to do her morning yoga and so on. And this is the spare room balcony, which is quite an awkward shape because there's not a lot that you can actually put on here. So I just put a little sort of like L shaped sofa that I made from like two love seats there. Um, and that's about it actually. Um, I couldn't really fit much else on that. I do add a little decoration just to kind of make the build a little bit more fun. Also, um, those little wood plank decorations, I feel like I end up searching for them for so long. I never know what category they're in. And I'm sure the two different ones are actually in two different categories, which is quite annoying. But I really enjoy using them. However, my only pet peeve with them is that I wish they'd go down when the walls go down. Because as soon as you like try and play in this house and the walls are there, it's quite annoying how they're there. Um, and I kind of carried them on through into this little... Um, corner here which is actually going to be where the grand piano is and I know you guys just saw me delete those walls but I do put them back um it's literally just to align that little wood plank there because it was just snapping to the wall and it was really really annoying me um so yeah I just had the grand piano in here which I feel like a house like this probably needs a grand piano I feel like these people would be really into entertaining others um hence why I've given them a really large dining room a large living room um, and then the large deck that I put in later as well. This house does have two and a half bathrooms. Um, so 
One of them is on an ensuite. The other one's a full bathroom with a bath and a shower. And then there's a little bathroom downstairs that just has a toilet and a sink. And I've actually put in bathroom decorations here. So can everyone just be really proud of me for doing that, please? Because I never do it. I don't think I've ever put toilet roll in any of my bills, mainly because it's not like your Sims need toilet rolls. So why would you bother putting it in? I never understood that. I never understood why the Sims have toilet rolls or towels. Um, so I put a couple of towels in and a couple of um, dressing gowns as well. Um, I also ended up putting curtains in this build, which is, again, a rarity on my channel. <laughs> um, having a little bit of an issue of getting them to actually align with the um, window there, but we got there. We got there. It's fine. Um, again, I think having to use curtains that aren't CCs a little bit of a pain for me because I feel like I had this rant in my, in my other videos, but just the way that they don't snap to wall height or anything like that is quite frustrating. Um, yep. Yep. Just having a little bit more curtain frustration there. Um, still don't really know how to curtain things <laughs> without just completely removing the windows and doing it manually. <laughs> oh yeah. This is where I put in that, um, wine cooler, which yeah cool object love it um i just wouldn't really expect that in the sims which is nice i spent a while here trying to find this um decoration which is like a little tray with some perfumes and candles on it and i just couldn't remember which category it was in i think it came with like um vintage glamour or something like that and now that i'm talking about it i imagine if it's a candle it was probably in the lighting section and i did not look in the lighting section <laughs> um probably should have done that but oh well i guess you um you live in new land um so just adding some more decorations downstairs and upstairs here love a good bit of plants also apologies for that if you can hear my dogs barking in the back um i think someone just came home so hopefully that has not ruined my video. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like their mission is to just ruin every single one of my voiceovers. <laughs> um, I love those paintings. I don't know which pack they came in. I think it's Glamour stuff. Is that the name of the pack? Either way, really like the way they look. Um, paintings are a real issue for me. We don't have enough paintings, enough good paintings, um, like modern paintings or anything like that. And I do really like using paintings, but yeah, just more of a variety would make me extremely happy <laughs> because I feel like I just use the same ones over and over again. And by the same ones over and over again, I mean, I literally use like two paintings constantly and nothing else. But then again, I probably do that with custom content as well. I like a good painting. Um, so right now, still on the decoration space, um, just kind of pulling out random things. This is what I now like to do. I would go through the catalogue and be like, ah, this is cool. This is also cool. Oh, I should put this in my game. Uh, it's fun. Yeah, I feel like I've never looked through the whole Sims catalogue before. Um, onto the roofing. Uh, just gone quite simple with a um, flat roof because modern build, flat roof, why not? Um, added in some skylights here as well, which kind of dropped down into that hallway slash office area to give the place a little bit more light. Um, I was against adding a foundation for a long time when I started this build, but it does look so much better with foundation. I love the way that that um, little garden, it's not a flower bed, the garden bed uh, is raised. Um, I think that looks really, really cool. Um, so onto the deck now, and I tried to do something really cool here where you'll see it in a second. I actually end up cutting out a lot of it. But basically what I really wanted to do was to have like a pool on a foundation and then a pool directly below it and then I wanted to put a waterfall there so it was like water flowing in from one pool to another pool and I do try and do that however unfortunately that's not possible it would have been cool but no not possible so I kind of cut all of that bit out um but I do like having these like little infinity style pools on the deck um I think like really really cool I much prefer decked pool to a non-decked pool I think it's because I struggle to like put a non-decked pool in and make it look normal um like a lot of the time it just feels like it's just in the middle of nowhere and just weird um I did want to put a hot tub somewhere in this build however I did not manage to fit one in unfortunately um so I just ended up doing a little dining room area here with an outdoor kitchen because obviously 
every rich house has an outdoor kitchen. That is how you measure wealth, whether you have or you haven't got an outdoor kitchen. I unfortunately do do not have one, but I do have a barbecue. Um, that's about as far as it goes. I don't actually even have a table. Um, I have a L-shaped sofa outside. <laughs> um, but yeah, just adding in some decorations on the outside here. Um, so as you may have seen this about a second ago, I did that um, roofing thing with the fences, which I kind of like to do. I think it looks really, really cool. Adding a little bit of landscaping, but not too much because, you know, not the biggest fan of landscaping. Um, <laughs> but I do try and use some of the terrain paint and stuff like that, um, which is quite fun. Um, I don't do it that often, but I feel like it does look really, really good. And we are quite lucky because on this world, there's already quite a lot of terrain paint. Um, so it doesn't look like flat grass like it does on some of the worlds, which is cool. Um, doing those mandri tasks of changing the colours of everything. Um, and we still don't actually have a colour on the outside. Um, so we'll be moving on to that in a second. I did want this to stay predominantly white. Um, with maybe some accent colours. Um, so I end up going for this like sort of like very, very light brick or pebble. I don't really know what you'd call it. Uh, not that, the other thing. Yeah. Tile. I think it's a tile, actually. I think it's meant to be used as a tile. But I really like the way it's looked on the outside. Um, just I, it made the house look a little bit less flat because before I felt like it was just a little bit too flat and that's got some detail in it everyone's happy it's modern it's cool and so on um but yeah very happy with this I think we are nearer the end possibly I feel like everything's just been done the interior paint we have not done the interior paint yet <laughs> um which is something that I tend to miss out a lot when I build on when I do voiceovers. Um, so first off, um, just the flooring, and I've gone for that white big tile on the inside and on the outside as well, just because I wanted it to feel like one of those inside outside places. Um, I've gone for a wood upstairs in the bedrooms and the hallway, um, which it works. You wouldn't really have tile upstairs. So I feel like just going for a simple white wood flooring works quite well. Um, adding in some outside lights here. I do actually do some really, really cool. And I make um, the whole house have those like little, um, I don't know what they're called. Like pro They're not projector lights, but like those lights that just make a rich house look even richer. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, this is what we'll call them. We'll call them rich outdoor house lights. Yep, we'll go with that. Um, but the way that the light of the house, I feel like that's so cool. So, so like Beverly Hills beach house vibe. Um, that's what we'll go with. Yeah, really happy with that. Um, lighting on the inside uh, is fairly simple. Um, I feel like we don't really have that many like cool chandeliers or anything that look modern. Um, mod lighting is quite limited and I do struggle quite a lot in the living room here. Um, also, I never knew that extractor fan was in the lighting area before. But hey, learn something new every day, don't you? Especially when it comes to the Sims catalogue. <laughs> um, tried to size down one of those lights, but it just looked kind of stupid and not modern. And I just want more modern lights. That's all I want, really. <laughs> um, and then now on to the upstairs lighting. I tried to avoid using ceiling lights because I was like, there's skylight somewhere but I do end up using one in the office and I forgot that there were skylights there and we're just going to roll with it and ignore the fact that I've done that um just because we needed some good lighting really <laughs> um can't go wrong with those spotlights in the bathroom either um and now we are on to the wall paint which is going to be super exciting because it's all white I'm not even kidding like most of the wall paint in this house is white like 90 percent of the wall paint in this house is white but hey I've mentioned this before love white wallpaper what can I say what can I say um I do go for a little bit of an accent color actually in the office um I go for a yellow interestingly enough um do you love a good accent wall what can I say yeah also yellow in the spare room apparently um no yellow in the master bedroom I did really want to get a cool feature wall but yeah a little bit of a struggle so we go with that dotted one because why not? And here's that yellow one, um, which is quite bright. I've not really used much of that wall paint, but I feel like it works in this build. 
um, realized one of my rooms didn't have a carpet in it and you can't actually have a room without a rug in it like I think I think those are the rules you can't not have a rug in a room <laughs> those are my rules for a house everything has to have rugs um just building a little l-shaped sofa outside again as well love 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 those um outdoor heaters um in real life and in the sense <laughs> love a good outdoor heater in, in real life and in a second here, I actually do something really, really cool, which I kind of mentioned at the start of the video. Because there's no cars on this island, obviously it'd be pointless putting a car there. But I just kind of had some outside space and I was like, what can I put that? What does every rich house need? And you know what it needs? It needs a little private water jet. <laughs> so that is what we have. And we are onto the screen chat. So thank you so much for watching this. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I do also now have Instagram where I kind of post um, previews of builds that are going to be coming up as well as just random builds that aren't going to be um, in videos but are quite cool that I like showing off. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, bye.